okay, but I got my mold ties, and then, okay, wait, fish oil, fish oil. All right, but I, ha I have to take the vitamin, vitamin C, it goes with iron, but like iron and vitamin C you can drink coffee with, and caffeine's can interact with it, but then calcium, calcium, oh no, gotta get, gotta get that away from the iron. You can't have calcium with iron. Okay, but then magnesium, oh, it makes you tired. Okay, you have to take it in the evening. All right, that's fine. So we have to take all these supplements, and I just, I don't, I don't really understand. When do you take them? Morning, evening, afternoon? Wait, it just doesn't matter. Ah, no! It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up. What's up, guys? I have to share something with you today. Hold on, I have an idea for you to take me more seriously. Okay, now that I'm more scientific, hear me out. You're seeing a lot of people today, supplements, trendy, cool, awesome, health, but you're seeing a lot of this. So you may be thinking, what is wrong with that? I'm taking my supplements, I put them all in maybe a little container, a little baggie, and I take them religiously every morning when I wake up. Maybe you say that. Before I go on, I do not have the qualifications to tell you what you should take and when you should take it. I'm just trying to clear up some confusion in the space of supplements because I know I've been confused in the past about this. I'm getting heated. So let's dive into it. So let's say you wanna clean up your diet, you wanna supplement your diet in the right ways to get all the nutrients and everything you need. And so you started buying some supplements. First of all, before you take any new supplements, it's always really important to consult with your doctor. You're like, why? It's a multi. Or why? It's calcium, it's iron, it's this, it's that. It's because there's a lot of interactions that you may not know about when you take two supplements or a supplement alongside medication that you're taking. So always double check that it's gonna be okay to take certain supplements. Okay, so once you get the okay, the go ahead. When the heck do you take them? So, <laughs> Realistically, you should really space out your supplements throughout the day. There's some supplements like glucosamine and even calcium and just like certain things where it might be a lot to take at once. And so it's more beneficial for you to take throughout the day for optimal absorption. But let's be real, let's be honest. We're not gonna take supplements. Well, some of us, but most of us aren't gonna sit there all day taking supplements every hour or two. And if you do, you're on a whole nother level. Like, we applaud you, but like, let's be honest. Me, <laughs> I'll take supplements twice a day max, but now I have actually been looking kind of at three times a day. And I think the goal of getting to that stage is making it as easy as possible. So what I do, just one second. I have a little organizer thingamabob. It's colorful, it's beautiful. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know I still have not put them in order and people with OCD are quaking. But I actually have two of these. One is AM and one is PM. So that makes it super easy instead of having to be like, uh, uh, like it's so much effort. A couple times a day, I make it super easy and I organize them in this pack so I can just be like, boop, 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 done. But the thing is, combining certain supplements is just not good. It's not good. And some of them, if you combine, they're gonna compete to be absorbed in your body. And so one may cancel out the other. You might be not getting the full benefit of one. And we spend all this money on supplements. You might as well get the biggest bang for your buck. Okay, I think I've given you enough reasons to probably want to space them out. I got 99 reasons. Supplement. And take them at optimal time. So based on my research, again, consult with a doctor, talk to people, do not necessarily what I'm taking as the best rule of thumb. But I did a lot of research to try to figure this out because I want to take the supplements that are going to be best for me. So I'm going to explain what I've been taking and when throughout the day and kind of why. And hopefully it kind of maybe puts a light bulb off in your kebab. Kebab? So there's a few different things I want to talk about. You don't necessarily need to take these. And again, it's best to talk with your doctor and see if it even makes sense. But here's what I've been kind of doing. Let's talk morning time. Time to wake up. 
So some people have an issue taking supplements on an empty stomach. Some supplements, which it's so contradictory, I wish it was easier to understand. I think the goal is just kind of learning what works with your body and what like your body kind of prefers. But for instance, some people can't take a multivitamin or like biotin, which I guess is kind of like multi in a way, on an empty stomach because their stomach will hurt. But for a lot of people, to get the most optimal absorption, you take them in the morning, like an hour or two before you eat, and you're gonna be able to get the most out of it. So when you're taking a water-soluble vitamin, like a B-complex, so we're not talking about fat soluble, we're talking about water soluble. You can take it in the morning on an empty stomach and you should be fine. And it should actually help with the absorption. So in the morning I've been taking this biotin, sometimes an extra B12, and let's say you're not taking a biotin, this is a good time to take a multivitamin. So right in the morning, get it done, get it in before you eat your breakfast. Additionally, one that I was talking about that is optimally absorbed if you take it throughout the day, from what I understand, is something like glucosamine. Serving size here for this particular brand, Natural Factors, is two tablets. So ideally, I would take one in the morning and one in the evening or later in the afternoon. Let's say I'm taking my Biotin or my B-complex or my Multi in the morning. I would probably also, at that same time, take one of these for the convenience. So I get those out of the way all in the morning. I forgot one. So I have this immune kind of support one and it has vitamin C, D, zinc, which zinc, you're causing me problems. So basically you don't want to take zinc and iron at the same time from what I can tell. <laughs> and so I've been taking this more so in the morning with my multis, with those water soluble vitamins my multivitamins and like the biotin stuff. But also with coffee, either have your coffee right when you wake up before you take your supplements or take your supplements an hour before you have that first cup of coffee. Because I'm learning with water soluble vitamins, coffee acts as a diuretic and so it might make you pee out more of the supplements that your body could be absorbing. It might pee out or flush out more than you need to. All right, so our friend iron <laughs> is a tricky one. Iron is best absorbed when taken with vitamin C. Iron, okay, this is where it gets tricky too because iron, from what I've read, has the best absorption when you take it without food, an hour or two without eating, but a lot of people will have a hard time taking iron without having something in their stomach. So I mean, okay, if you have your supplements in the morning, if you wanted to space this out an hour or two before lunch, feel free. But you know, to be honest, I'm trying to cut down the amount of times I'm taking these. So I'm taking this before lunch with a little bit of vitamin C for absorption. Even if you have like some like lemon, some like citrus from what you're eating while you're taking this, perfect. Along with that, with um, before lunch, fat soluble vitamins, so such as vitamin A, D, E, or K, you're gonna wanna take them with food as well to help with the absorption. If you're taking any of those vitamins, those fat soluble vitamins, I would take them at the same time or around the same time before lunch with the iron. Additionally, this is a good time to take some fish oil because you're gonna absorb the fish oil better with a little bit of fat. We're not talking about like a crap ton of cheese or like anything like that per se. A little bit of avocado with these fat soluble vitamins and fish oil is gonna be ideal for absorption. So those you can just kind of like squeeze together too, like before lunch, grand, awesome, cool. Okay, so hopefully that kind of helps to explain a little bit of what I'm taking in the morning, what I'm taking before lunch on a perfect ideal day when I'm just doing so well, even though I have been trying to keep up on my supplement routine to actually get the benefits. Because if you take it one or two days and then don't take it for a week, it's really not gonna have that much of an effect. You wanna be taking it like daily. All right, and then when it gets to the evening, in perfect world, I got my last set of what I'm gonna be taking. So I might, if I decided to space out my glucosamine, I might take the last tablet closer to the evening time, before dinner per se. So in the evening I have, where is it? Where is it? 
I have been taking magnesium, which you mix it with water and it helps your body absorb it that way. You don't necessarily have to eat anything with it. Before going to bed, some people take it before dinner, but I mean, it does usually kind of promote a restful state. And so I usually take it maybe an hour before I go to bed. <sighs> and this one might seem like an obvious if you take it on occasion, uh, melatonin. Melatonin also promotes that restful state helps with good sleep. So if you're taking melatonin, maybe taking it alongside magnesium. Good nighttime ones, tee -hee. If you take calcium, from what I understand as well, it's also good to take at night because it can have more of that restful effect as well. But also I wanna point out, if you're taking like a thyroid medication, it could have effects with calcium. So if you take your thyroid medication at night, again, consult with your doctor so it's not like overlapping. A lot of these supplements, when you're reading the back, it's gonna be like, don't take it at the same time as a heartburn medication or X, Y, Z. So it's really important to be aware of what you're taking in addition to other things because you don't want them to interact or have, you know, cause one to work more than it should, especially like antidepressants. If you're taking those alongside of a certain kind of supplements or other medication, it could really cause that drug to be stronger than it's supposed to. Do your research and really talk to your doctor about this. All right, here's the summary of what we just talked about. Oh, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Really appreciate it. Let me know what questions you have. If you take your supplements differently at different times, if you don't agree with what I said at all, or if your doctor has recommended something else. Actually, you don't have to tell me that. If you can give this video a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. All right, I'm talking too much. I'll see you later, bye.